What can we learn about the BP oil spill from a jar of mayonnaise? It turns out we can learn a lot. But before we prove that, let's first take a close look at the word spill and the word leak. Because we've heard BP and the national news media pretend over and over that these are the two words that best describe what's happened in the Gulf. In actuality, the best word to describe what's happened in the Gulf is an F word. And it's an F word that fits into this sentence. BP F'd the Gulf of Mexico. Can you guess what the F word is? Right, it's flooded. Because BP flooded the Gulf of Mexico with toxic oil and dispersant. But you might be saying to yourself, what difference does it make what we call it? Because it's over, right? After all, the well supposedly has been capped. We all hope that's true. But the reality is that the crisis is just beginning for those things living in the Gulf of Mexico, all of us who depend on the things living in the Gulf of Mexico and the oceans beyond, because a lot of our food comes from those oceans and half of the world's oxygen comes from those oceans. So the disaster affects all of us. And this jar of mayonnaise will explain why. Now that probably sounds weird to you because after all, if we look at what black oil, petroleum oil looks like in water, it floats on the surface and it's black. If we look at mayonnaise by comparison, in a similar size container, it's obviously white. The black toxic oil, which contains chemicals from benzene to polyaromatic hydrocarbons, some of which are carcinogenic, floats on the surface, whereas the oil in the mayonnaise is uniformly distributed throughout the container. It becomes more obvious the similarities between these two if we look at what the mayonnaise is actually made from. Because the mayonnaise is made from corn oil, typically, and the corn oil is mixed with water using a dispersant. The dispersant allows each droplet of the oil to be uniformly coated with a layer of slightly cloudy water which makes the resultant mayonnaise look white. In order to achieve this, you typically have to use a homogenizer or high-speed mixer. What does that have to do with the BP oil disaster in the Gulf? Well, if we take the corn oil and again replace it with the petroleum oil, what BP has done is add a dispersant to that black oil so that instead of looking like white mayonnaise, it basically becomes what we could call a toxic mayonnaise. For example, in a recent July issue of Scientific American, we see that the BP oil that appears on camera typically looks reddish orange. It almost looks like fish food, unfortunately, but it certainly doesn't look black. The reason, again, remembering what happened with the mayonnaise, we went from a clear yellow oil to a white mayonnaise. In this case, we're going from a black toxic oil to a toxic mayonnaise. Now, why is this so dangerous? Well, we can show that by taking a sample of the mayonnaise that we were just looking at and taking a scoop out, <coughs> a large scoop of the mayonnaise, and mixing it in half a glass of water. Now, unlike a lot of things that you see on television, you can do this experiment at home. All we have to do is add our mayonnaise into the water and stir, and we see 
that first of all it begins to look like a type of milk because we're dispersing or redispersing the oil and the mayonnaise in the water. Now let's consider a much larger volume of water. For example, what's happening in the Gulf. Once we add this dispersed mayonnaise into the larger volume of water, what we notice is that most of it stays underwater. Virtually none comes to the surface. This is very important because that's what's happened in the Gulf. <coughs> and that's why, for example, the idea of using barges to prevent the migration of the toxic oil or using skimmers to skim the surface are ineffective. Similarly, the BP ads which talk about skimming the surface, cleaning up the beaches, again, is disingenuous because they know they have hidden most of the oil underwater and then it can go not only from the Gulf but into the Gulf Stream and migrate everywhere. To address this in as fair a way as we can, let's ask whether BP's response has made their contamination of the waters worse or not. In my opinion, there are three reasons why BP's response has made it worse. First of all, they use the dispersant to disperse the toxic oil so most of it stays underwater. Secondly, they chose a toxic dispersant to disperse the toxic oil. Thirdly, <coughs> they've actually used over two million gallons of toxic dispersant through aerial and underwater spraying to hide most of the toxic oil underwater. Now, let's do a reality check at this point and ask ourselves perhaps the most basic question. And that is, does it make sense to disperse one toxin with another toxin as opposed to just removing the first toxin altogether? Well, if you were poisoned or you were bitten by a poisonous snake and you went to your doctor, your doctor wouldn't disperse the toxin throughout your body, would, would he or she? No. The doctor would localize the toxin and remove it. And that's exactly what should happen whenever there's a contamination of any body of water. In fact, that's exactly what each of us is required to do if we're a homeowner and we have oil heat. Let's say our oil tank is submerged underground. If that oil tank leaks, we're required by law to remove the tank, remove the oil, remove all the dirt and water that's going to become contaminated with oil and have it completely uh, decontaminated before it can be reused. That's what we're individually required to do. Similarly, if you're changing the oil in your car, you know you can't just take the old oil and throw it on the ground, much less pour it down the toilet. But in fact, isn't that what BP has been allowed to do by using a dispersant with the permission of our government? This is a double standard and it's got to change. And the only way it can change is if we put pressure on our government to require that the oil companies stop using dispersants as a means of hiding the contamination that they've caused.